The Lillian Bailey Studio is really a space where young companies launch themselves and this happened with Nora in 2015 with their first program and we've been on, in this uh, continuous dialogue with them really since, since the beginning, since they were two, which were the founder member Eleanor Sikorsky and Flora Wellesley Leslie. And now they're three with Stephanie McMahon, who was rehearsal director, joining them. So the company is really growing and it's really exciting for us to be part of each of their steps. And this second step is a really important one for them with a second program called Nora Invites. And this time they invite the very influential choreographer from America, Deborah Hay. They were really ambitious with what they wanted to achieve and approach one of the great postmodern choreographers of our time, really, with no prior knowledge of her in terms of personal knowledge. And to our surprise, Deborah Hay delightfully accepted the invitation. The work is called Where Home Is, and Deborah's practice is really particular and really puts the accent on the role of the dancer and what is the practice of a dancer working with different levels of consciousness at the same time. For those of you who don't know Deborah Hay, she is one of the founder of a really important postmodern dance company called the Judge and Dance Theatre and had a retrospective at MoMA um, just last year um, alongside her contemporaries at the time, so Trisha Brown, Steve Paxton, Yvonne Rayner. So really someone who's changed um, the, the landscape of what dance is and can be. She's also worked with amateur and her practice with dancers is, is really at the core of what she does. And there's something really rebellious in Deborah. I think for me, she's like the Vivian Westwood of the dance world, together with someone who is, you know, a bit of an existential philosopher um, and who brings this kind of two things together, really challenging us to look at dance, to look at what uh, dancers are actually doing, and to invite us to practice our being an audience as well. Love, don't fence me in. Let me be by myself in the evening breeze.